So, um, uh, I think, uh, oh yeah, I, I know I want to talk about, uh, about Castlevania, and, um, one of the things I want to, uh, mention was, um, Lord of Shadows. I want to talk about Lord of Shadows. And, uh, the reason I think that's significant is, um, is the play style is so very different from, you know, any other game in the franchise, except, uh, maybe some of the PS2 games. Of course, those felt more like Don't May Cry games than Castlevania games. Of course, they're still very good. Um, yeah, and I never played any of them, because... The first one, I did want to get, but every time I went to the store, it was always super expensive, even online. I was like, no, I, I just can't afford that right now, because there are things I was working on. And, um, even still, I heard that, uh, it wasn't too well received, because it was so radically different, and, uh, it felt like a poor, poor man's, uh, God of War. And the gameplay seemed like that. I mean, you're not even fighting Dracula, you're fighting the devil. Uh, of course, big surprise, you're actually Dracula. Uh, I didn't know what to feel about that. I mean, and even after you become Dracula, you just kind of become a scrubby Dracula. Not a cool run like uh, Bela Lugosi. And yes, Bela Lugosi is my favorite Dracula. Favorite vampire, favorite iteration. All for the win, baby. Wow, that... Well, and, uh, speaking of, you know, Dracula, uh, I'm about to talk about who my favorite, uh, universal monster is, and that's, that's probably gonna be, you know, I think it's toss up between, uh, you know, Creature of the Black Lagoon, and, uh... Frankenstein. And there we go. That was easy as hell. So, triple shot, yeah! So, I got my triple shot! <laughs> and, um... I'm going for the Reaper. The reason, uh... You know, I'm fond of the creature is... I, I guess the concept of that chitinous uh, fish man was really cool back when I was a kid, but Frankenstein might be a better choice because, you know, he's a very unique monster. I mean, he's not really a zombie because he's kind of alive, but I wouldn't say he's a homunculus because, you know, he's also made out of dead things, too. Homunculus are made out of completely natural shit. That's a very important... Oh, oh, oh piece of information. See, when you get stuck right here, this is when it gets hard. This is... See, and it comes back, too. Like the fucking cat. <laughs> um, this... This, uh, level is made, uh, brick for brick in, uh, Chronicles. And when you get near the stairs, you, uh, fight a, uh, skeleton spider. I, I wouldn't say it was a mini-boss, but... Maybe it is. I've never killed it, so I, I wouldn't know. So, eh, I was about to mention how points are kind of useless, because you'd rather want to have hearts than points, you know, in Castlevania, because you can use hearts, you can't use points. But, you know, back in the day, points, you know, were so bragging rights. Oh, hey, I finished the game of so-and-so. Congratulations. I, well, of course, you know, if you get a high score, like, if you get to the game without dying, then congratulations, because that Reaper is a bitch. Now, uh, fun fact, in Castlevania Chronicles, Frankenstein appears as a uh, mini-boss as opposed to a, a regular boss. Because, um... Shit. Damn. He, he appears as a mini-boss in this stage, coincidentally. And, uh, I, I, I haven't beaten him either, but I think he has an easy pattern once you figure it out. And, uh, yeah. playing the game, when you first, uh, don't, you know, don't see uh, Frankenstein as a boss before the Reaper, 
you kind of feel disappointed because, you know, he's necessary to be there. He's the Reaper, for God, uh, Frankenstein, for God's sake. And then he pops up as a mini boss. I was like, oh, well. Shit, problem solved. Do not know if I'll be able to beat the Reaper, but uh, we'll see. Because uh, I just lost a uh, lost considerable bit of health, and the, uh, the uh, pork chop isn't going to cover that. Assuming I can, you know, get that without not getting hit again. I don't know if I said that right. So the red skeletons. Yeah. And these guys are just assholes. Of course, once you stun lock them with the uh, holy wire, you know, they just go down easily. But yeah, they take nine hits. So I gotta wonder how you know much damage does holy wire do in its duration? And I'm sure you know there's something online that says it. Uh. Now this is something else I want to talk about. Castlevania series is um. Yeah, they made Lord of Shadows. I guess, you know, they're trying to do something different, and I, I guess it turned out to be very successful because, you know, I've got a sequel, I've got the uh, game, the uh, 3DS game, shit. And I'm just thinking, uh, why didn't uh, the Castlevania franchise ever try to make an RPG that was like uh, Kingdom Hearts or Xenoblade? Because, you know, there's a lot of furrow soil there for that type of game. I mean, they could do so much. They get so many characters, so many enemies, so many, uh, verdant, you know, areas and play <laughs> maps and areas that they could go to. Locations. It's... I think it'd be a great idea. I mean, uh, yeah, Symphony of the Night SQ games... You know, they they do have the RPG elements, but they don't feel like that, you know, expansive open world. Alright, I got him. I got him locked. I got the bitch! I got the bitch! Oh, wow. So, I'm gonna beat this game right fast. <laughs> yes, fuck you, Reaper. Uh, so Dracula, I get two life, I get the triple shot, if I don't screw this up, uh, I think this killed very well. Now, ooh, ooh, no, 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 that was, oof, my god, that was almost a bad idea. So, you know, the bats are coming up, you know, and... There's just a trick. This guy, you, you gotta walk through him. That guy, stand here, jump, and then go. Same thing with this schmuck. And then this guy... You know, just jump. See, there you go. And we live with the uh, triple shot. And a really good chance to be Dracula. Skelos. Considering, um, you know, before you get to Dracula, it's really short. And, uh, it's not as difficult as you would think, just so long as you move. I mean, don't worry about getting hit, because... Well, yeah, don't worry about getting hit. Because, you know, once you get to the Dracula stage, that's it. Oh, crap, again. Again with that. Fuck you. And, you know, they're the asshole eagles. The useless eagles and the selfish wizards. Okay, so I get three hits to my name. Not yet. Up, up the stairs. There we go. Uh, we made it. Shit, let me not. Nope, we got this. And there we go. To Dracula we go. With no health to my name. Means triple shot holly wire is completely pointless. Sepaku! Wow, so, you know, I'm actually making, you know, really good time. Really good time. Gonna scum for hearts now, because really I have no choice. Down the stairs, I fucking go. 
Look at that moon. It's made of cheese. Uh, that's something I've actually never noticed, or maybe I have, is if you hit a um, candle that will drop the weapon that you have, it just drops money instead. Oh, I think sometimes it drops hearts. Let's find out. Yeah. No, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. whoa. Alright, uh, I'm not sure, but if you take a look at above Simon, the gray orange area, and then the clock, I think that's the same texture, or a similar one anyway. Lazy bastards, there's two clocks on this tower. Uh, I got enough, I'm, I'm not gonna waste your time anymore. Now this, you want the holy water, so fuck the cross, uh, no, don't, 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 don't do that. I shit. Fuck the stick. What? What? Wait, did I just fucking glitch the? Did you see that? I took out like six health in one hit. Well, not that matters anymore because I'm gonna die. But holy shit. That's a maze up. Never see that again, folks. Never. Of course, you know what? I'm sh Crap. I'm not doing good. You have just enough time. I mean, if you're distracted, you're never gonna make that jump. Or make the move. So, you want Drac to be in the farthest corner possible when you kill him. And never mind, fuck. Come on, you fucker. Fruit fucker prime. The Batman. The Flader Mouse. I miss the tick. You know what? I, I, I don't watch, you know, Cartoon Network anymore because, you know, not because I'm like, oh, I'm grown up, I'm too old for cartoons, but, uh, there's just nothing on to watch on that channel anymore and except for some stuff on Adult Swim but it, let's face it those aren't the cartoons of my childhood uh, I'd probably be very messed up if they were um, but you know this is crap on I mean Talking Orange that's not good Johnny Test that's probably worse uh, 3D Garfield holy shit is that bad I mean, do they really think this is entertaining for kids, or do they just do not care? I mean, I never had my child watch that shit. Seriously. Got in, I'm back. Okay, you piece of shit, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, bitch! Come on, come on, yeah! I'm finally gonna prove my world from the internet. I am real Bolshevik hero now. Which makes no sense because socialism is entirely secularist. Unless, of course, if you're Irish socialist. Eh. Oh, oh! oh yeah! Huh? Um, stay alive! Oh, there's something going on! That's it. I beat Castlevania. Fuck this game. I dropped a bunch of frames even though my computer says no. Although, fuck. I hate it when I drop frames. I really gotta switch to a PVR. If I had the money, <coughs> maybe it packs. Maybe it packs. Okay, so obviously, you know this game has a real development team, right? And uh, these joke names. You know, they obviously, you know, besides corresponding to an actor, they also correspond to a, uh, a you know, a member of the dev team. Except for, you know, the creatures. I mean, like, uh, the composer, uh, I vaguely remember his name, but he took on the moniker. And I don't know if that's his nickname now, or if he's got some other weird... Japanese nickname that they do over there, but that's Castlevania. Thanks for watching, and uh, 
second quest, maybe? Nope, never mind. Not gonna put myself for that. Bye. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you?